Hey YouTube, TechFanic9 here today, where I make videos about anything and everything tech related. So uh, today's video is actually um, I actually uh, enjoyed this video a lot um because it actually because of the iPad and all that um Apple made it or whatever. So uh, today's video is actually going to be how to professionally make your iPad um sanded and uh, make it brushed metal. Right, as you can see here, I already have mine. I did before uh, making the video. Sorry about that, but I will still show you step by step on how to make it profession make it look professionally. All right. Now here you can see some blemishes and all that here, but um, that is just because I have um, not taking care of my iPad 100%. There has been some dents and all that, but if you uh, take care of your iPad and um, it's actually old and whatnot, um, then I would recommend you do this because it it makes it look a lot newer and all that because it makes it look really professional. Um, this will make it professional as long as you have time. Um, you will need some. Uh, sponges, uh, make sure it's heavy duty, um, the brand doesn't really matter. I got these from Walmart, so you can head over to Walmart or anywhere like that. You know, Target probably has them too. I will have uh, this one or similar to this one on the on my uh, in the description to the link for uh, the Walmart one. You will also need um, some painter's tape too, alright? Um, I would recommend using electrical tape, but if you don't have electrical tape like I do, I'll just use painter tape. I used to have it, but I ran out. So yeah. Um, and um, I would just um, make sure that you have something that wouldn't get dirty. Like I have an old T-shirt that I just put on. So because you're gonna get some uh, particles and all that on here, so I would just wanna you know keep it clean. But that's your choice. So let's get started, all right, guys. Um, make sure you have about two hours to do this, or at least um, you have time to do it like every once in a while, so you can get this done. But it won't take like five minutes. Sorry about that, right? It takes time. It takes patience. If you're not one of those, sorry, shouldn't be watching this video. <laughs> all right, so um, the first thing is actually we're gonna be taping all the things that um we don't want to get um sanded down or whatever. So, see um here I don't I don't want the screen to get sanded down or whatever, so I would just put it on there. If you have a screen protector or something, uh, you don't have to, but I would still recommend you if you if you don't want to apply a new uh screen protector. So all you're going to be doing, it doesn't have to be perfect, as long as it's pretty close, you should be alright. But this is your choice if you want to make it more uh, complete or whatever, more 100% look, I guess. I have done these on uh, actually a couple of iPods, and they all turned out really great using these sponges and brands. So uh, I will show you uh, step by step how to do it and it, it should come out looking really great and uh, as you saw I'm at the back of my iPod it goes um vertically uh, you can make it go diagonally or horizontally uh, whichever one you choose my favorite is just uh, vertically because it's really easy to know that you're going up and down and all that too so uh, I just choose that but you can choose whatever you want that's your choice alright we're almost done with the back And uh, as you can see, I'm not doing a great job on this because I want you to just see uh, how to do the whole process first. But uh, you should take your time on doing the taping and all that. Just let you guys know. Take your time. Make sure you do it correctly the first time so you don't screw up your screen or anything like that. Alright, so you can see it's all covered up. Majority of it is. Right? Alright, you should look um, a little better than this, but... Most of it's pretty good. And um, here, I would recommend that you uh, cover up the Wi-Fi because if you do sketch with Wi-Fi, it may uh, ruin uh, the signal or anything like that. So I just cover that up. And once again, I would cover up uh, pretty good, pretty well. Uh, I will actually do a pretty bad job on this, but that's okay. And this is a second generation iPod, if you, if you just don't know which one this one is. It is a second generation, that's why I'm sanding it. If you got the latest 4th generation iPod, I would not recommend you do this just because it's new and all that. Unless you scratch it up pretty bad and you just done this before. If you'd like to do it. Alright. So we got that done. 
it should look better than this. It's pretty bad. So uh, just make sure all the metal is exposed and uh, the screen and the Wi-Fi is uh, protected. And if you if you have the like third generation or the fourth generation, if you're doing it, then you won't have the Wi-Fi, so that's okay. You won't have to put it there because the Wi-Fi is just inside, which is a lot better design. So that's one good thing Apple did. All right, so we got that done. So now you're gonna be getting um a sponge. I would recommend just getting a one pack, but this one came with a two pack. So that's okay, you only need one, so it's not a big deal. It only, uh, it only costs like a dollar or two, so it's not expensive at all. And um, you have to be patient for doing this whole process because it will not be quick and all that. So um, I'm actually just going to be doing it horizontally like it is right now, as you can see. And it looks uh, really nice compared to the shiny, it, shiny version of the Apple gave. So all you're going to be doing is, um, I like to just hold it like this, so you get a nice curve. And uh, just do this, and uh, you you have to have time to uh, actually get all the edges and the sides out and make it look really professional. But in the end, you will be really satisfied with um, the work that everything that you've seen. It just takes time, uh, so I'll be right back. I uh, keep working on this. I'll be back um, when uh, my, mine's almost done. All right, guys, I'm back. As you can see, um, it does look a lot better than. Before you saw it, because um every time I do it, actually it improves. It makes it look a lot better. So um it looks really nice. Um it looks really professional too. Like um professional, like I actually changed the housing. And this it looks very nice. Um very smooth and uh actually feels like a grip too. And it's not uh slippery or anything like before too. So that's really nice. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention before um when you're doing around the volume button and the home button, I would just recommend you um be careful and not like sand over it because it might damage it or you know it just doesn't it's not it's not good for it you know so just uh, be careful and don't forget don't forget to go all the way around the edges and all that around here and above too and um you can actually see a big difference from the shiny version and this version and uh i i regret i should have done like half sanded and half not so you can compare but um i should have done that sorry guys um so um that's about it um as you can still see uh the more you sand the more um the you can't really see it, but the uh, AGB and the model number and all that right here gets faded. So um I'll just be careful if if anything ever happens to your iPod, I would just write down the model number and all that too, just in case something happens. And if you uh sand this down too much, it might go away. Um so um that's about it, guys. Um just make sure you you have enough time to do all this. And uh don't forget this and this, you know. Um, that's about it guys, um, I know a lot of other people think, oh, using sandpaper and all that is a lot quicker and better, but I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you don't do that because if you sand too much, then, uh, oh man, you can't do anything, right? Because, but the sponge, it, it does it gradually, gradually and gradu gradually, it will make, um, how much, uh, brush metal you want on there, I guess you could say. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, or subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you taking your time to watch this video. Um, and thanks for watching. Hopefully it helped you out another uh, day for another tip or guide. Thanks for watching, guys.